All right. All right, there's no formality that's going to be happening with this video here. In fact, I'm only doing this because I'm bored. So, I have a project for me today, and I'm trying to get this done because it's been driving me crazy. I have a UPS running my Silicon Graphics 02 because power disruptions in, in this neighborhood has caused me two system failures so far, just because of power interruptions. So it's on a UPS now. That UPS, however, has caused me problems. <sighs> so, if you turn it on when you're plugged into the wall, it'll immediately switch over to battery. And it'll run the battery down. And then when it shuts itself down, it'll recharge itself. And it'll top the battery off. And then when you turn it back on again, it immediately goes back onto, uh, goes back onto battery and keeps running there. This is the third identical model UPS that has given me this problem. So I have a pretty good idea now on what is going on. And so this is the board out of that APC unit. And I confirmed it. Um, every single Surface Matlytic on here tests like crap. Now, how do you test something like that when it's in circuit? Okay, I understand everyone has their way and some of these ways aren't accurate. And uh, what I end up using is this thing here, which is, um, this is called a capacitor wizard. I don't actually even own this. This is actually a borrowed piece of equipment because they're so stupid expensive and they're, they're really poorly built, really. But anyways, I've found that it has, pr um, given me enough successful repairs that I'll justify if it says something's poor, chances are it's going to actually be poor. So, uh, oh, by the way, I can't see the chat box. If you're going to try and text me or send me any sort of messages, I can't see that. That's directly behind me right now. All right, so what am I doing here? So I'm just changing the caps out ye old fashioned way. I've already done two here and I've still got another mm, dozen or so left to go. Uh, if I don't say a whole hell of a lot, that's fine. I'm kind of busy here. So just sit back and watch, I guess. All right, I got a 1035 hiding in there. And all I have are 1050s.
4.725. Close enough. I could do a cap list, but honestly, I don't even know if this is going to work. And yes, I am doing okay right now. That was a 4.725. Mm, go a little bit shorter on that one. Twenty-two sixteen over there, and woo, twenty-two sixteen. Smells like fish, so I'm not wrong. Try that 4716 there. You're huge and you're in the way. Where are you? 4716. Oh, God, I said UPC, UPS. Okay, I'll fix that later. Anyways, no, it's APC. Actually, can I fix that now? Yes, I can. And there we 
go. Next one. Am I done with all the ones that are in terrible little corners? I think I am. All right, another 1035 or 1050. 4.7, no. 4.7, no. Four, uh oh. There it is. <clears throat> of you are 2216s. That's our last 2216. Oh, we have one more over there. Okay. Uh, 
uh, 4.725. I saw 4.7 on here. 4.750. Sure. Close enough. Yeah. Two more caps and that'll be the end of this video. Nothing all that exciting. 2216, <clears throat> sure. If you give me a split second here, I can actually go get you the model number. This here is one of those uh, backups RS 1500 units. It's the nice narrow ones. I like them because while well, they're small um, They have a fair number of features and You can attach an additional battery pack to this. There's an auxiliary battery connector on the back So you can add capacity to these things um, They're great. It's just like keep finding them in this mode where they're stuck. They keep thinking oh, there's no AC power Let me run on battery until I die Then I'll use AC power to charge up again immediately followed by turning it back on and it's saying, oh, there's no AC power, let me go back on battery. My guess is that with all of these being a dud, for some reason the, bat uh, the AC line voltage sense is just not working. Or it could be quite simply an optocoupler has failed. And I, I don't know. This is a complete test. If this, doesn't, if this doesn't work, I'll just grab another UPS. Oh, you're going to be... Oh, here's not stubborn at all. No, it's just flux. I saw you, solder ball. Don't you try that crap on me.
Okay. And the last one. All right, so we're done. I'm gonna go reassemble this. However, how about since someone in the chat was nice enough to ask and I uh, did neglect it, I'm just gonna quickly look over which caps I did pull out here and see if I can make a cap list for you. All right, so the capacitors we changed here today, there's 12 of them. We have one 47 microfarad, 16 volt. We have four 10 microfarad, 35 volt. We have four 22 microfarad, 16 volt. And we have three 4.7 microfarad, 25 volt. There's actually a clutch capacitor. I didn't put this in here already. Um, and that's just simply going off of one leg of D21 to where there should be a capacitor pad. And that's a 16 microfarad, uh, or 16 volt, 22 mic microfarad capacitor. All the other ones here, I mean, it may be wise to change them out, but when I did test them, uh, one, they were either high in the okay range, or I don't have replacements. This one here is 47 microfarad, 200. This one here is 22 microfarad, 200, like they're high voltage caps. So I'm going to throw this all back together. If I'm lucky, the thing's going to work again. Uh, I'm going to put a follow-up post in the Twitter. I do hope that everyone enjoyed watching this. I, I, I personally don't fully understand what gratification there is in watching someone recap. But hey, each their own. I'm not going to complain. Sorry about that. So that's the end of this recording. And until next time. Have a good one.